Hi guys, welcome to Redefined Gospel YouTube channel where we are thriving in Christ. This channel seeks to link the word of God to the contemporary times and ultimately ensure that we are thriving in Christ. So in case you're new here and this is the very first time you're coming on this channel, Karibu Nisana and you're interested in this kind of content, kindly do subscribe. If you're a returning viewer, Acha Izo subscribe to my channel hit on that red button it's totally free and thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you for subscribing so, in today's video i am bringing you in into a weekend in the life of a kenya school of law student and a christian content creator so there will be both aspects of it i hope you enjoy i hope you love on this video and currently i'm in my full element because we are used to each other like this <laughs> But yeah, it's around, let me just get, check the time. It's around 8.58 a.m. I was up like at around 6 a.m. And I had quite a number of things that I needed to do to finish up some uh, amendments to some project work that I needed to send out to the person who's compiling that I had totally forgot about. I had to comment on some things. Someone had sent me a document. I had to, to make comments on that. Actually, two documents. And then I also had to email a certain a subscriber who had sent me an email and all that. So that's all that I did. But I have quite a number of things on my to-do list, which I'm going to show you guys. And that is what I'm going to take you through. So Saturdays are a bit chilled, but because then oral exams are almost coming up, then it's majorly, you know, studying. But also I'll be recording uh two extra videos uh because i'm in the process of batch filming so as to ensure that i have videos up even while i totally concentrate on my oral exams uh so yes but first let's have some breakfast <music> So breakfast done, I feel so relaxed. Like I love Saturdays because I get to sleep in like till 6 a.m. And <clears throat> I was, as I was taking breakfast, I was, I'm not yet finished. It's like a 47 minute vlog of Cameroon Monet. So Cameroon Monet is a lawyer, is an attorney in, um, kind of, how it, um, it start with C. Cambridge. I'll just put it how do I not know but uh, she's an attorney uh, who was previously working in a law firm so she used to show like her day in a law firm and all that but right now she has gone into full-time uh, content creation but she also is in the process of creating a consultancy firm for influencer contracts so she will still be practicing so she speaks to my heart sana so like when i see her notification she usually posts on friday in the morning so every friday in the morning as i'm studying when i see that notification i pause everything up and then i get to watch her so uh she shows late so she posted today on saturdays that's what i'm catching up on but i'm done so i'm going to just clear this place and then i want to do my quiet time saturdays are usually times where i how do I put it? Like some I, I I miss the quiet and sometimes I miss it because like when I wake up at six, I feel like oh I need to do this, I need to do this because this is the day that I, I normally do general cleaning, which I'm still going to do. But I am in the aim to make sure that as I am going through the book of Isaiah, I'm currently going through book going through the book of Isaiah. Uh, if you're a regular follower of mine, you've probably had this time without number that I am currently doing the Bible in one year challenge. Where I started reading from the book of Genesis all the way to Revelation, three chapters a day, and I am currently on the in the book of Isaiah. So I really want it to be seamless. It's a whole 66 chapters. Currently, I think in chapter 10 around them. 
if I'm not wrong, 8, 9, 10 hapo. Uh, that's what I want to do. Do three chapters once I'm done with that. So this is my to-do list. I hope it focuses. I have ticked out several things. So I was to send in someone something to someone. Then there's the recording of this weekend vlog. I was to finish the day in the life vlog that I started yesterday on Friday. I didn't finish, so I was to do the outro. I've done that. Then I'm going, I'm supposed to study for conveyancing. There are several topics. I want to study transfers, section of properties and leases. And then I was to send in a trial advocacy project talk, some amendments that I needed to make on my part, and I've sent that. Then there are some minutes that I need to review. The minutes for the project work that are uh, like I just want to, the formatting and inserting the time and just making sure they're proper, then I'll send them out. I'm supposed to review a uh, conveyancing project work that was sent. It's like the final draft just to look at whether there are errors and all that. And then I'm supposed to finish up on civil litigation um, and finish up on some provisions of the Insolvency Act. I was to review a certain memorandum of appeal, but I've already done that. And then I'm to record two videos, which I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of recording YouTube videos because I'm recording a Q&A that I had asked on Instagram. So I have to slot up some time where I look through the questions that were asked so that I can like prepare um, with time um, how I'm going to respond to them, the answers, those that need a more in-depth answer. And then I'm going to record. So I was at the point of reading out <laughs> my to-do list to you guys. The cat got full and then in the process of transferring footage, putting it back on to my camera, the battery was full. As the Jomoka Yole on another battery, so when it was telling me change your battery pack, I had to charge my battery. So as my battery was charging, it's like hours later, it's maybe some minutes to two or thereabout. Uh, so I did my quiet time, did a thorough clean of the house. The house is peak and span. Even go to Sema, what to me is imagine a June. Uh, to please to me to composition i don't know how we would use them later in life so let me take this advantage and use my school fees so the house is pick and span it's as clean as a new pin i may just show how limited i am with my idiomatic expressions but yeah the house is super clean cooked lunch showered freshened up i'm all clean about to do my personal reading i think i'm just going to finish reading my to-do list and see how far i am at this point when it's some minutes to two um then we can, I can share what I have learned in my quiet time today. Uh, so I think I was at the point where I was reading uh, my to-do list, uh, saying that I'll record two YouTube videos, the Q&A that I asked on Instagram. In case you're not following me on Instagram, you'll miss out on asking me questions, for instance. But I post content there daily, and like here where I post content only once a week. Uh, so there's a Q&A, and then I want to narrate my my hilarious uh, first mood court experience. I don't know when, if the video will come out uh, after this or before this. Uh, and then I'm supposed to study procurement. There was quiet time. I've already done that. I was to organize some things uh, that needed printing. I've done that. Clean the house. I should tick that. I have cleaned the house. Then I was to answer a, a DM and respond. It, it required a very comprehensive response. So I did that and I was to email a subscriber who had requested something. So yeah. I'm, I'm done with almost half is it half one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah it's half because it's 17 things so nine out of 17 that's good enough for now but i really want to get into my personal reading and tick that out that's a great achievement when i tick that out uh but i read something during my quiet time and it just this it just marvels me how the bible in itself is a story that is complete in itself in case you do not know i'm doing the bible in one year where i start reading i started reading from genesis all i and the aim is to get to revelation where i do three chapters a day i'm currently in the book of isaiah so today i was reading from chapter 10 all the way to chapter 12 of isaiah um and just specifically i want just to point out two things when you read Isaiah 11, it talks about uh, there shall come forth a shoot from the stamp of Jesse. If you know about the story of Jesus, you know that Jesus came from the lineage of David and uh, the father of David was Jesse. And then it goes ahead and explains how, you know, how Jesus then comes in in the New Testament. The way he had uh, the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord and his delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. And then even I remember yesterday, 
yesterday reading about for unto us a child is born and he shall be called Emmanuel. Just prophecies that came to pass at the end of it all and i have seen so many things that the lord you know promises people and the promises come comes comes you know they come true and later i know when i'll get to matthew Mark, okay obviously i've read those verses one one so it's not like i'll be so shocked it's like a book i've never read but i know jesus coming on and having all these traits that he has wonderful counselor prince of peace and i when I read, the more I read the Bible, the more I see that the story is complete in itself. The more I see that it has answers to so many life problems that we have in these contemporary times. And sometimes we are like, oh, how will this, like, this is so irrelevant. Like, how it, does it fit to the Bible? Trust you me. Wow. And then a motorcycle decided, it's my time to shine. <laughs> the Bible has solutions to all the life problems that we have. It, it, not like solution, like you will go there and your problems will be solved, but it points you to to the right direction that let me just say that it points you to the right direction and it's just amazing and uh, this um isaiah chapter 12 where it talks about that the lord is my strength and my salvation and even in this season like where like for me it's like an exam season coming on and it's not because it's just an exam season but even throughout life in the highs and the lows the lord is my strength and my and my and my, and my song and there's this part that says, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the people, proclaim that his name may be exalted. And that is my prayer in all the spheres of my life, that I may showcase God's excellence, even through my studies, I may showcase God's excellence, even how I do my online ministry on YouTube and on Instagram. And yeah, so that, that that's amazing. So as you can see here, I have humongous lunch <laughs> want to take lunch as i finish cameroon monet's videos jay maliza but it's, it was 47 minutes so once i finished my breakfast and i wanted to do my quiet time i had to pause it so i want to finish cameroon's monet's video and then work on um civil litigation and some provisions of the insolvency act before i get to record the two youtube videos so i hope you're enjoying the vlog so far and that it is inspiring motivating and that you're learning something even as regards to the gospel so yeah see you on the time lapse okay let me just bring you in before i put you on a time lapse but this is how like i and i arranged my book and i think i talked about it in my K uh, ksl study routines video but as you can see i have like two columns so here is where i put let me, let me where it's more so like objectives of civil education and then the objectives are here so then i could just easily like fold it when I'm studying and see whether when I'm doing my active recalling and see whether I will consider what I'm doing even as I study and remind myself. So there are two topics that I want to do. Yeah, that's it. since i ever like used my phone to film for youtube but this is where we started i am using my phone to do the behind the scenes of the youtube video i i studied like for th i think my head kisha fika three hours it's usually like <clears throat> anapana <laughs> so i i thought i was I, I was actually not even feeling it like recording and i knew i had to record it was on my to-do list but I've just psyched myself up and you can see I have like some gloss. Okay, na jangale at this point. Some gloss and I'm wearing this black top. I'm going to put on some earrings. I do a very lazy job when it comes to styling my braids. Like, Miss G is on my technique. So, nafanyange to kitu na narusha ka braid divi. Naka kama ni metrai. Then I've two earrings. Lafu siju kujipaka makeup. Okay, and I draw theoretically watch makeup videos. But yes, so I'm using my, I want to show you my filming room and my filming, filming setup, which is like, um, I us usually use the other house, which is my, my big brother's house. Uh, the, not big brother's, my small big brother bro. Yeah, this is his sitting area, his sitting room area. Um, so yeah, transformed it, I painted it cream. And I used, 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 
used to have some like posters and stuff but because i have been learning about framing and ensuring my head uku such a space mob so it became difficult so i'm going to learn to redecorate this place but yes the goal is to record two youtube videos two igtv videos and three reels i'm at tiktok the igt the i the instagram <laughs> It's going to be press record and I can clearly see because I'm using the front camera. My goodness. But the very first video that I'm going to be recording is a QA and a that I asked people on Instagram several questions. That's what I'm going to be recording. And then I record my uh, hilarious, my first mood got experience. And then the two IGTV videos and the reels. The aim is to be done by 7.30pm. So I should just stop vlogging and start the work. Um... <clears throat> even just sit down i'm almost um done with the first video and it's some minutes to seven yani i had issue with the framing and all and then it's that time of the month so like my acne is shining and never i don't have excuses about that but sometimes like in is so glorified back i'm totally quite distracted <laughs> so it's just trying to get the best angles and everything but i finally did so kadime imeja so I'm just waiting for it to transfer the footage because it took time like to nini. So I had so many dry runs, so it just a card. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just finishing up the last question and then doing the outro. And I had talked. I should probably put a viewfinder. Any like you kuna vinyo nzaya kapani nioni kiacha ku record. But I don't even know. By the way, I don't know why I usually do that. Kwanza. Hi guys, I know you probably think it's the 1st of November and I'm coming on here to just update you. Mekwa ni kijangalia. I know you think it's the 1st of November. It's actually the 8th of November. It's the Sunday of the 8th of November. Guys who usually vlog, mad respect to you mad respect to you like it's easy for a sit down video but this is what happened on that saturday i think i i had i showed you clips of me recording as i was finishing to record the video that i was to do of my first moot court experience lights went off lights going off means my ring light is off it's around 7 pm i couldn't record so I packed up my things, and then I was like, I'll just pick it up from the following day. I will vlog, I will keep you updated. Then what is PMS? I was, uh, any, I, I have been in that time of the month, my periods. And so I was experiencing PMS. For the guys who are watching, who are not usually so many according to my analytics, but for the guys who are watching, PMS is premenstrual symptoms. I think so. Yeah, so I was experiencing premenstrual symptoms. Symptoms, symptoms, symptoms. And so, as a result of that, I was a bit moody. And then I was like cramping, like those initial stages. And then there were people who hadn't done what was required of them um, in various aspects of my life. And so, and then I was angry, plus I was feeling off. And so I was like, I wouldn't come t tell you, like I'm feeling off and then it ends at that. Because my intention is to make these videos valuable. So, yeah. So most of the times when we are vlogging as, you know, vloggers, as YouTubers, you see the, the good parts because that's when, you know, like content creation comes from to me the heart. Um, when you're in a good mood, then you will pick up the camera. When you're not, you won't. So just reminding you that social media is a representation of the good side most of the times. And so don't compare your bad days with the good days of someone. Um so to today being a sunday i didn't attend church church unfortunately my morning was a bit confused and i normally love to attend the the yes service which is the youth service that normally takes place at around uh, um 6 7 a.m uh because then my parents go for the main service and we have a little baby or my baby brother hajafikisha that age limit that is allowed to go to church so then I didn't go, but I'm planning to do my quiet time in the evening. For now, so the better part of the morning, I was refining the final documents of two of my project works. So for conveyancing and then legal writing. But for legal writing, I think I've read that final document like three times. I'm seeing like a nimenza kwana characteristics of perfectionism. And so I've said I've read it for three times. If it's there's a grammatical error that I have not seen, yani. Watch a tutu to print tool, <laughs> just print it out, and that is it. <laughs> so yeah, so I, uh, so I am done with that. I've just sent it to someone to to modify it to too, like the page number and everything. Then we'll be done, and I'm done. I think we we are done with most of our project works. Actually, almost all of them. 
um just one that we're meeting uh read yani kuna two a few things here and there and i'm so grateful for that i had put in my to-do list that i want to read legal practice and management some two topics and i wanted to read civil litigation and what but i'm thinking today is a sunday and this this sunday that i took a whole like sunday off switched off my phone i just relaxed so i've decided from now it's around yeah 1 140, 140 pm so i want to relax until like five so at five then i'll edit the video for next week because i didn't have a video this week it was mad intense and then immediately after i edit the video i plan my week and i'm going to show you how i plan my week and how i use this this um i okay i have been doing it but terminology <laughs> like the terminologies i took i used uh with you guys um when i was talking about my law school study techniques in case you have not watched that video the card is here and it will be linked down below and so it's called brain dumping where um, i won't even explain but i'll show you when i'll be doing it so i want to do brain dumping for the next week and i want you know next week i don't think i'll be doing anything project work related and so then i want to focus on some topics that i have not got the hang of some things that i need to get done uh before then we you know we, the oral exam start and then uh yeah after i edit the video then i'll do my quiet time and sleep early maybe at around 8 p.m i'm going to take lunch and then do the dishes and watch binge watch on youtube videos if i feel like napping i'll nap in the middle of it all and then i'm going to relax and shower in the evening and then sit down to edit so yeah that's all about it and first of all rest is important today i was talking with a friend of mine uh who yeah who i know really watches so at a journey yeah, yeah but and she was telling me she has taken two days off just to unwind and just to yeah to because it's it can be a lot and and we had like a lecture on thursday and people are saying how they are depressed how they they are feeling um maybe depressed is a big word but yeah how they are depressed okay i'm not here i can't really like you know i don't know the magnitude you know people are having panic attacks because of what is going in the kenya school of law and it can be a lot but it is important to step back and relax and today i was tempted to go home and then tomorrow i'll be just tired and all that and it will continue so i really need to relax and you know and i have worked at it and, and sometimes you have to step back and see how much you've been able to achieve and just be appreciative of that and just relax and cast your anxieties to god when i feel anxious that's what i've been doing and i'm like god i'm feeling anxious but i trust in you and i know you will do me well and i know that i will pass and and i believe in you and father god help my unbelief in areas where i feel like i'm not believing in you but yeah i'm, I'm making it a, a point to check up on my fellow friends in as much as even myself sometimes i feel overwhelmed uh, but I, but i thank god that i've been in a position to 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 manage it to be in a position where i am managing it and i thank god for that so um just checking up on people and just praying for them because there's no you know i can come here and say oh tip number one cast your anxieties to god no 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 but i, I believe pr there's a power in prayer and i believe there's power in yeah and even talking with other people don't die in silence and feel like gosh i'm the only one and the fact that we are at home it it feels like that because you go home and you know the, the the pressure is with you within and maybe you're not interacting with other people so it feels like that so yeah i thought that's something to share and even if you're not in the kenya school of law i'm just saying um may may grace your gra the grace of god be sufficient when you feel overwhelmed when you feel anxious about situations about various stages you are in in life yeah and cast all your anxieties to god this is verse i think in aqua peter i'll just put it here yeah i love where he lighting him where's an machine to make it anyway guys see you in the next i did see you in the next in the next clip actually <laughs> hi guys you're probably thinking it's sunday and i've just rested and i want to edit a youtube video it is tuesday the 10th of newton yeah 10th of november and have a studio audience here <laughs> anyway um it's the 10th of november we're supposed to be having class right now uh this week is the week that we're having our final classes and uh, the lecturer has not coming has not come in yet and so i was like let me take this opportunity to end this vlog <laughs> among other things that i am recording uh but yes I, I that day i decided editing is part of me working so i rested kabisa and i'm just trying to unlearn this whole thing of the fact that i'm resting doesn't mean i'm lazy it just means i need to, to recharge that's something that i've been 
yani unlearning but i want you to talk about um brain dumping and uh, the you know that technique in terms of arranging your week and how i do it so basically what i do and have my book here so i have a week work plan so i divide all the units and then i'm like what are my targets what do what are the units that what are the topics that i want to accomplish and then i i segment them and then i look at the project work so for to, for this time i just needed to refine some few minutes because we are printing this week um, and then for YouTube, you know, finish this weekend vlog that I'm doing right now, edit uh, the YouTube video for this week, upload and edit the trailer. And then for IG, for Instagram, you know, the content that I need to put out. And then I then go into the specific days and spread out all those tasks into the various days. Obviously, I give myself a flexibility. Sometimes things won't happen as planned, but that's basically what I do. It is important to brain dumping is basically, you see, most of the times you're like, okay, I need to do this and this isn't your nezafanya. Then you're like, okay, and he, na he, na he. So it's important, like on Sunday, just sit down and say, what are all those things that need to get done this week? And then I note them down and give room for flexibility. I'm going to link down a video that talks about brain dumping so that you may know more. And it's more of an organization and just making your heart um feel your mind not hurt but your mind feel free so that you're not like oh my god i need to do this i need to do this just writing everything down that needs to get done and now spreading out across the timelines that you have so that's what i did and i'm glad i rested and i'm having a great week it's tuesday and i'm grateful and i'm about to end this weekend vlog that is being ended on a tuesday <laughs> yeah so that will be it for this weekend vlog in case uh, you are not yet subscribed kindly do subscribe hit on the bell so that you get post notifications each time i upload kindly do subscribe and then also give this a thumbs up comment down below on what you know you've learned or what was enjoyable for you that feedback means a lot and then share this up uh, an icon written like this and written share you can share to your whatsapp to your instagram and once you share it on your instagram stories tag me at njoroge254 and i'll really appreciate so that will be it for this week's um video and as always remember god loves you a lot until next week bye bye